Howdy folks, good to see you, and it's great to see me, huh? It's been a couple days, I think, I don't remember the last time, really, but it's the 23rd. I've been, like, studying at night and being tired as fuck from jiu-jitsu, and in the day I've been, like, fucking... Getting Wi-Fi and applying for campground hosts and etc. jobs. Um, yeah, back at the crack. There's no one here tonight. The other night, I noticed there was people that stayed like two nights in a row. So, I'm not that weird. I just stay five nights or something. It's Wednesday. I got here... Thursday. Oh, I but I stayed Thursday night at the gym, so. And then Friday I stayed at Pensacola, so yeah. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is the fifth night, yeah. And then I'm going off the grid tomorrow. Back to Florida campgrounds, which is only like an hour. I have two campgrounds booked because I just made two separate accounts book two separate campgrounds in case one sucks or there's some riffraff I can bounce and yeah tomorrow I pretty much grab a few groceries and do some fucking laundry I've been driving around with like seven days worth of jujitsu clothes I don't know I've been training at least every day sometimes twice a day I lifted weights one time, which was great, but I'm still feeling sore as fuck from that. So yeah, I have a fuck ton of dirty laundry, and oh yeah, and I found the dopest job ever. It's at a cat sanctuary, so awesome. In South Carolina, which could be worse, and they have like domestic cats, fucking wild cats, jungle cats. It's awesome. And I messaged the girl today, earlier, like three or something, maybe even four, and she already got back to me two emails. I haven't read them because that's the type of person I am. I don't want to get like spun up right now. I'm just the same person, like, I'll get a package in the mail and I just don't want to open it. I don't want to have to, like, invest in certain things, you know? I don't know. People call me crazy for that, but I just, I'll deal with it in the morning. I can't do shit now. Whether it's a yes, no, or I've already found someone, I don't know. It seemed, pr I caught, like, five words when I was scanning through my emails, so... I might bounce to South Carolina, who knows, because I like it here, Jiu Jitsu Gym is fun, except, I don't know, I just feel like the coach is lazy, like, he'll literally tell us a move, I probably told you this, but tell us one move, it's like the start of the sequence, and then let us drill it for like 20 minutes while he's on his phone, sitting on a fucking yoga ball. I mean, yeah, when we ask questions, he pops up immediately. So, like, I give him credit there, and he's more than happy to, like, guide you, but it's just, I don't know. We could be getting way more info. It makes me feel like I could just teach myself. Since I have all the videos, I just need, like, people. So, I, there are jiu-jitsu, whoa, jiu jitsu jiu jitsu jiu jitsu there are gyms like 30 minutes from this cat sanctuary in either direction. There's a fuck ton with no gi, so. I think it'll work. I just might need to get like a beater car or like a fucking motorcycle. Probably a motorcycle. Moped? 
have one. Buy the big ass battery for mine? That's an idea. That's a hell of an idea. It's $1,850. That's why I made that face. But that would be the cost of like a shitty motorcycle, so. Anyway, back to what I was saying. And then, oh, and then I found, that would be till like May. And I found a job at a mountain resort up in northern Utah, which is dope, at 5,000 feet, which is like, I feel like I'm a high altitude person. The weather is just more agreeable with my temperament. But it would be uh, the night manager at a resort in northern, outside of Logan. And there's gyms there too, high level gyms just down from the mountain like 40 minutes it is a night shift which I've never worked a night shift but I feel like I'm very fit to do that and I get paid for that I get like a couple grand every month so that's like hell yeah and people know what the fuck foot zoning is there so like advertising would be literally just spout those two words and people are just coming all over me yeah I just if I'm working the night shift I would foot zone possibly the people that stay there in the day and train jiu jitsu I might have to start doing meth or fasting and drinking my pee again it'll work out but yeah, just wanted to say what's up. Going off the grid, you'll come with me, so don't worry. Um, anything else interesting? I plugged the van in today. That was sweet. I could have had it plugged in all day. I didn't notice. I was right by a power plug till like an hour before I left, if that, 30 minutes. But I, yeah, I juiced it up and charged the... Because there was like no solar. It was thought it was going to be a hot day, but it turned out not. Definitely could have used to plug it in all day. I mean, all my batteries are good levels. I'm just like anal. I like to be full power. But it was cool to just plug in and like all the power in the van works. It's kind of the way to go. Having an inverter is... I won't get into that right now. Um, yeah. I'll miss the people at this gym if I do end up bouncing. But nothing's opening up, like, here. Oh, I didn't... Oh, I also messaged across the bay so I wouldn't be going to this 10th planet all the time, maybe once in a while. But I'd be going up to Mobile. But I just feel like they ask for pictures of me, and I have giant beard and big ass hair, and my rig. I'm sure it'll be like an issue because I went to their website and they're like ritzy, hoity-toity. And there was another one over there. I think that's like the nice, rich area, like less riffraff than out here, because it's rich here too. But it's like party drinkers. Yeah, Mobile has, like, the longest-running Mardi Gras, I think longer than New Orleans, and they're not canceled this year. That, that was another reason why I wanted to hang around, because New Orleans canceled theirs, and Mobile's still doing theirs. Who knows? We'll see when I read that email, what the chick said. But, yeah. Oh... <sighs> I'm impressed how my body's holding up doing so much training. I swear, like... Being plant-based... I don't know, I just see... Something changed, because... When I was, like, fucking... 
working a corporate job, I could only handle like three to four times a week, maybe five, like here and there. But I just trained like, what, Thursday, twice on Friday, Saturday for like three hours. Monday, did I do two on Monday? Yeah, I did two on Monday. Did I? Yeah, I did, fuck. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, eight. Eight in a week, Jesus. Plus worked out. I feel like maybe, I don't know, I'm also honoring my body. I don't know, I'm not like pushing it, because I can tell. I mean, my knees, I'm glad I'm taking a break. My knees are starting to get a little like, tweaky from getting heel hooked or just like not even heel hooked just fighting out of leg lock battles I do that against the sweet ass bruise I did exactly what they said not to do in the seminar um yeah so that's cool it's probably just the Capricorn Sagittarius shit gives me lots of, I don't know, get-go. Or just not working a corporate job. Yeah, probably that. Oh, this guy. He's back. Say hi. Hello. Oh, when I was at the coffee shop, because that's where I was parked, I went to a new coffee shop called Buzz Cats. It was disappointingly cat themed. Like, they could have went harder with the cat stuff. It was like all shit they bought at Target. Their cat decor. And the like bitches behind the counter were just kind of probably NPCs definitely NPCs. Russian, randomly. Like, Russian 20-year-olds. It's weird. NPCs, though. So. Um. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just... I went out of my comfort zone to go there, because... It's kind of what I've been noticing, like when I notice resistance to doing something, I just acknowledge it, and then sort of like try to go the easy way, still, sometimes, and then just at the last minute do the hard thing. Because it's like when you sit in that anxiety of doing the hard thing, like that's when it's like, it gets harder and harder and harder. If you just like do it, then that's when it's the least resistance. Because I just like, I've gotten milked so many times at coffee, like indie little coffee shops in shit towns that I'm like, fuck, I need to see your menu first. I need to make sure you have alternative milks. And then I need to make sure that you're like, hep. And then I'll be like, oh, I need to see the parking. Make sure the van will fit. But this one I was like, well, the McDonald's is there. And I can Wi-Fi there. 